Hi guys, you ever been watching a race and they'll bring the cars off the track and park them? Well, the first thing to do is open the hood and get a fan blowing on that engine. And I always just thought that was a race thing because they're running the cars so hard. But the other day I was watching a Jay Leno video and he was talking about his older cars. And when he brings them back into the garage and parks them after he's been driving them, he'll open the hood and put a fan on them because they've got old rubber hoses, old wiring insulation and stuff like that. And until that engine block cools off, everything that's under that hood is just baking there. So I got to thinking about my Boxster here. Now this Boxster is currently 23 years old. It's mid engine. There's insulation all around the engine compartment. And the only ventilation is this one vent here on the passenger side. Now, when the car gets hot, because I've been in traffic or just on a very hot day, um, the fans will turn on, both, the, both radiator fans and this engine bay cooling fan. This particular car, it's a 99, and I don't know about newer cars, but when I pull into the garage and park, as soon as I turn the key off, that fan stops. So that engine bay is just gonna sit there baking until eventually that engine cools off but like i said there's no ventilation up here on the top or anything or like a front engine car you got the whole grill area in the front for the air to pass back and forth through and on this all you have is this one little small area here so anyway i think i may have come up with a i don't want to say a solution but just a way to kind of help my little car out here so when our temperature in my car reaches about right there, just, just shy of that little white hash mark, uh, is when the fans will turn on. And I've been told those fans come on somewhere between 195 and 200-ish degrees Fahrenheit. And not only do the two fans up front that are with the radiators turn on, but also an engine bay cooling fan here on the passenger side. You can hear it running in there. The problem with this, with my car in particular, is when I turn off the key, the fan stops running. Okay, so like I said, as soon as you turn the key off, the fan, the cooling fan for the engine bay will stop blowing and the car just sits here in the garage. So now you see got walls around it, so there's no wind gonna blow under it or anything like that. So what I did is I bought one of these little snail shell shaped fans here that'll blow under the car instead of just blowing against the side of it. And I ordered myself a little uh, mechanical timer. It works like a kitchen timer, just click, click, click and winds itself down. But um, each one of the little hash marks is 15 minutes. So I'll set it usually for about 30, 15 or 30 minutes, depending on how hot I think it is and it'll wind itself down and shut the fan off later. I don't have to worry about it. Um, and it's probably not ideal because it's not blowing directly into the bay, but it'll also blow leaves out from under your car. But if you put your hand down here, you can feel some really warm air blowing out from under the front of that car. So I bought a mechanical timer instead of a digital timer because when the mechanical timer is not running, it's not drawing any electricity whatsoever. Whereas a digital timer always draws that little bit of phantom power. And I don't even know if it's enough to matter, but I just went ahead and got the mechanical one. That's just that. Um, another thing, these cars I'm sure were probably designed to deal with that heat in that engine compartment, but they're getting old now. And you know, I don't know if that heat would cause the rubber pieces to get gummy, start breaking down, dry rotting. I don't know if I would have to deal with electrical issues later because of the stuff getting so hot. So to me, to buy the fan and the timer and to blow under it every day when it comes home hot, if that can save me from having to replace hoses, especially replace electrical stuff, I do not look forward to that at all. Um, to me, it's worth it. I don't know. You guys may have a better solution or may have a different idea on the whole subject. If you do, please let me know down in the comments. And once again, help me with this channel if you would please and hit subscribe if you hadn't already. Click like and I appreciate you watching. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.